Okay, joining us now from USC is head coach Mark Track and student athletes Kayla Overbeck and Stephanie Watts. And we also have here off to the side SID Darcy Couch. Coach, if you would begin with an opening statement, please. You know, we're, we're really excited to be here and we're really excited about our, our upcoming year. You know, we've got uh, a lot of new faces. Uh, we've got a freshman class that was ranked highly uh, last year and uh, we've got few graduate transfers and and um, we're excited about the year we've just got to got to mix our youth and experience together and um, I think we've got we've got some good down on the floor and right now our, our kids are really working hard in practice are coming together uh, are doing a lot of good things uh, so we're very excited uh, about this year and and moving forward of our our program okay now we'll open it up for questions hi Michelle Smith pac12.com Ark has been a lot of change in your program. What do you know for sure right now about your team? I know that they're together. You know, I know that they uh, they genuinely support each other on, on the floor. You know, we we had a we went on a retreat uh, this weekend. You know, and we did a lot of team bonding things with the kids. We went up to the uh, um, inland from San Diego. There there's there's a camp there and. And um, just seeing the kids work together in a lot of our team bonding drills and then seeing them work together when they did the high ropes courses, you know, and, and uh, seeing the communication and the love they had for one another, I think that's really going to go a long way. And, um, you know, that's what I'm really excited about, just, just how together and close-knit this group is. <laughs> it felt like it. Because I haven't, or we haven't really been out in the trails in a long time. And it was just, you know, there's like gnats everywhere. Like we're trying to do team bonding and there's like, we're trying to go like that without, you know, trying to slap each other. But <laughs> it was different. It was a lot of fun. Uh, for for Kayla and Stephanie, what was your favorite activity from, from the retreat weekend? For me, that was probably, um, there was one where we were on this, like, all on this middle, like, island type of deal, and there was, like, a square around us, but it was super hard to balance on the square because it was only probably, like, an inch thick. So the the goal was to everyone walk across the log and everyone spread out across the square somewhere. So it was kind of cool, like, working with each other to figure out kind of like a puzzle type deal with our teammates. So it was a lot of fun and really cool to um, work on that together. Yeah, that same uh, activity, but also we had this other activity where, it was like a plank of wood on like a seesaw. And so the first time like you have to go to either side, you and a partner, like as a team as a whole, um, and the sides couldn't touch the ground. And so the first time we did it, you know, we were talking, communicating, like, come on this way, this way. And then the second time we had to do it without talking. And so really being able to, um, you know, focus on the people on the outside, really, you know, paying attention to each other and really listening without actually listening. And so it was a lot of fun to see everyone really getting involved and getting excited and just really, you know, just having fun. You know, it was just a lot of fun. It was fun watching them do the high ropes courses because they, I mean, it was about like 50 feet in the air, you know, and you're harnessed, but you go up and we had to talk Stephanie into doing it because she sat down. She said, oh, I'm not doing that. There's no way I'm going up that pole. <laughs> but but she did it, you know, and, and um, it, it's really neat when they have that, that, that they had a fear of height and Stephanie had a, fear of heights and, and just to overcome that and get up there and and then balance yourself on a thin wire you know 50 feet in the air I I, I really enjoyed watching her do that he's not going to mention he was my partner <laughs> that dragged me up there so he was my partner <laughs> doing it which was it was it was fun we had a lot of fun we ended up doing well on it so it's cool uh, this question is for Stephanie Stephanie uh, how has the integration gone for you from UNC to USC uh, practicing with some new teammates, some new faces. How'd you land? How did you get from UNC to USC? Help us understand the journey and the decision. Um, so originally, um, I looked at a ton of schools when I was um, 
deciding to leave, and I actually knew a player from Charlotte that was on the USC women's basketball team, Aliyah Mazik, who had nothing but great things to say about the program, the coaching, um, the family atmosphere of the program. And when I got here for my visit, I felt everything that she was saying. Um, it's kind of crazy because I feel like I've been here for so much longer than I have with just the family atmosphere. I kind of forget that I'm like, I've only been here for a few months. I'm a grad transfer, but like they just make it seem like, like I feel like I've known Kayla forever. I feel like I've known Coach Trek forever. Like, and it's just been like an amazing like experience and they've made this um, adjustment process so easy. Um, practice has been great. Everyone, although we have a lot of new faces, has been just molding together so seamlessly. So I'm just, I'm glad to be here and glad to be a part of it. I'm excited. I, cu I couldn't be more excited. Um, the team is meshing together so well. Um, you know, we've put in a lot of great stuff. Um, I'm, I couldn't be more excited to be a part of this and to, you know, have that um, expectations and pressure. We love it. We love being the underdogs. Um, I think we have a lot more in store than people think, and we're, we're excited. You know, she mentioned Aaliyah Mazik. They were childhood friends. And for those of you who know Aaliyah, who I absolutely love, but Aaliyah comes into my office and she goes, Coach, I got a graduate uh, transfer for you, you know, and she and I kind of looked at her and she could tell the way I was looking at her. She goes, no, 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 coach, she's not like me. She's a good kid, I promise. She's gonna go to class, she's gonna, she gonna do everything she's supposed to. She won't yell at refs, I promise. <laughs> and like I said, so, and for, all the, for those of you who know Aaliyah, you, you understand what I'm, what I'm talking about right now. Shereen Ryan in the front row. I asked the Bruins, so I wanna ask the Trojans, um, so talking about distractions, Los Angeles is a fun place to, to play. Um, does your team have a go-to restaurant, a go-to song, go-to things? What is it about LA that you guys have fun playing college ball in that city? Well, I would say like hot and juicy is probably that's, that's the, the first thing that came to my mind. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's like a crab, <laughs> seafood, um, shrimp, like all that. And they like put it in a bag with like a bunch of really good sauces. And like ever since I've got here, like I love that place. But our team loves it's going amazing. there. They just went there, I think, last I night. Know. But we missed it. I but know. <laughs> um, but what do we do? I mean, there's not really like a favorite song either that we dance to. I feel like everyone will dance to anything. Even if you don't want to dance, like you're gonna like start like start moving. You're like, okay, come on, like let's go. But I think that's the best part about it too. Like everyone's so willing to just step outside themselves and just really just be themselves. Cause like why not? You know, like we're all so new and young. We're we're not gonna be this age for that much longer. So why not do it? Yeah. You'll see a team that plays hard, that's unified, that's going to be a system, a system team, uh, that's uh, going to be together like Tammy Blackburn's high school teams were. Uh, remember that, Tammy? Those, those many years ago, you know. But uh, we, we we want that, uh, um, uh, you know, that 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 culture. You know, you'll you'll see us play hard. You'll see us play together, and uh, that's what we've really been working on. You know, uh, uh, for all these kids uh, to buy in, to be all in on on what we. Uh, what we need to do this year. Coach, um, I, and just a little bit of a play or, or an extension of that, that question, how will you guys be able to use your size and your speed to beat teams that maybe you know might be coming in and uh, very tough on paper, but having that balance that maybe you haven't had in the first couple of years? Yeah. Well, Tammy, first of all, let me uh, say how great it is to, to see you again. and let you know again uh, what a great inspiration you are to all our kids and especially to me day in and day out so so keep the fight we love you in and, uh, and oh by the way Tammy was nominated was a finalist for San Diego women of the year which we're all very proud of too so just wanted to, to give you a shout out there uh, you know I, I just think with our our style you know I think you know we've got a six five freshman who's shown really really well we've never had a kid uh, you know uh, an athlete that that's tall since since I've been there and kind of you know we're gonna platoon her and Kayla you know Kayla gives you that you know she can step outside she can go around you you know so it's gonna be a good combination and I think our guards uh, shoot the ball relatively well you know, and um, I think, you know, we've got enough enough size and not not overwhelming size, but I think we've got enough size and strength and skill level that, that I think will be competitive, you know, and, th and that's what we want to do. We want to compete every night, night in and night out. So. 
Any more questions for a coach of the student athletes? Okay, I think that's all. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you for having me.